Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and I'm about to go and do a weekly little shop. So I thought I would take you shopping along with me. Um, I'll do a little bit of filming a little, let's see what offers there are and then I will show you my weekly shopping haul afterwards and I'm also planning to make a red Thai curry for tea. Um, it's a curry that I make using little ingredients, quite regular, and it's one of my new favourites. It's really, really easy, so I'm going to make that for dinner with you later. Really hope that you enjoy today's video. I've seen a potato, res potato salad recipe using spring onions, so I'm going to give that a go. They're 36p. That was a complete and utter fail. I really can't call this video a shot with me, can I? Um, I got cold feet. There was, it was really busy, quarter past one. A weekday, afternoon. I expected it to be dead and it was full of old people. Um, and I just feel really self-conscious filming with my camera, chatting to my camera all on my own. So I didn't do very well, so I'm so sorry. So it's more of a haul and a cook with me now. Um, let me show you what I bought. I spent 41 pounds and 56 pence. And funnily enough, I spent 41 pounds last week as well. So I'm doing really well with my food budget so far this month. Um, I'll show you what I've got. This also includes items for Holly to take back to uni on Sunday. So I picked her up tropical juice. I've got four lots of this. This is what I'm using to make our curry today. And it's really, really good. This Thai red curry paste. It's currently on offer. I think it's usually 79 but right now it's 69 so i've got two for holly to take back and two for us the juice is 109 i've got two of the coconut milks i've seen the light one this time coconut milk light which i haven't spotted from there before i've got one each one for holly one for us and they're 65p each big thin of i'm going to do some sweet and sour chicken on the barbecue tomorrow so i've got pineapple slices in juice 86p and a tin of sweet corn which was only 37p I don't usually buy these pickled onions but i saw them like i said being used in a potato salad recipe they were 36p so i'm going to give those a go and the noodles are also for holly these are like cheapy super noodles she loves them 22p and the four of them are going to uni with her i've also bought mini um, tortilla wraps we use those as soft tacos just by lightly popping them in a hot pan with no oil or anything flipping them over we use them as tacos and i've also i've got two of those holly can take one of those i've got three packs of wraps white wraps and again holly's got one of those i've got the kids toasting waffles for the weekend 79p cheesy biscuits little mini bags for packed lunches for school for louis and also the individually wrapped pan au chocolat that he uses for school snacks as well just reading through the waffles are 89p cheese biscuits 75 waffles 89 the large wraps 98 and the little ones 79p i've also bought 18 bags of walker's french fries for 249 for packed lunches these lentil curls are one of my favorite afternoon snacks six bags um, for 72p and i treated myself to some sunflowers for two pounds 75. i've got this big pack of chicken breasts for 5.29 which i will split and freeze although i'm using some of it for the barbecue sweet and sour chicken tomorrow i've got four bassa fillets these are like sustainable cod um 1.99 a pack for dinner on sunday i've got two packs of corn pieces i'm using one pack for the curry today the other pack is for holly to take to uni with her these are 159 a bag this crappy um chicken slices louis loves these and these were one pound 49 and then I like to grab these like mixed bags of fruits, frozens for smoothies. I'm actually using this for a dessert tomorrow. And this cost £1.49. And finally, my fresh, I've still got quite a bit left over from last week. 
also I've just grabbed the baby potatoes were on offer they were 75p sweet potatoes 99p the lettuce was 59 I've got um, garlic all those four garlics were 62p peppers 91 the courgette was 60p spring onions 53p and the bananas were 76p i've got loads of tomatoes coming in from the garden at the moment i'm sort of ripening them off as i'm picking them but i wanted some larger tomatoes as well and these were 72p so that's everything I got for my £41. I've got enough in the freezer and the larder now to keep me going for the rest of the week. I don't need anything else. So £41 for the last two weeks shopping, that's £82 something with the change. Uh, we did pop into Waitrose the other day and got a few bits and pieces, but nothing huge. I think literally a couple of carrier bag fulls. So we have done really, really well the last couple of weeks. Let me know where is your favourite place to food shop. Something I like to do is take these massive great big shopping bags with me. I took three today. I lay them out in the trolley and then I can pack everything together. So I have all the fridge stuff in one, all the like packets, tins, that kind of thing. And then another one hanging off the side for the fruit and veg. And then as it comes through the checkout, I can pack my bags really quickly and easy. And then it makes life so much easier when I come home to unpack. I'm now going to make the Thai red curry oh. using the paste. This is like a cheats curry. I consider it a cheats curry. It's so, so easy. And I think everything here that I'm using, I've bought from Lidl. I have got my slow cooker out. You don't have to use a slow cooker. I have made it in a pan as well. But because I'm using sweet potatoes and lentils, it just gives it a nice kind of, it cooks down really, really well. You don't have to worry about it burning on the bottom. It just cooks it evenly and it's, you can throw it in the pan and forget about it. I'm going to start. Now, usually I would use chicken or oh, sometimes I use chicken and when I do, I pop it into the slow cooker with a little bit of coconut oil first. Um, I'm not doing that today, however, I'm doing a veggie curry, but this, my slow cooker does go on my hob, so I can brown it off um, first. So if you need to transfer your stuff over, you'd need to brown off your chicken first. However, I'm doing corn and veg today. So I'm going to start by using the coconut milk and adding the Thai paste. And I'm gonna pop them both in the slow cooker together. I've emptied the jar contents into the slow cooker. I've put a little bit of water in, make sure that lid's on, and I'm giving it a good shake just to make sure that I get all of the sauce out. And I have to say, reading through the ingredients, I'm really, really impressed. There's nothing there that scares me. Um, the first ingredient is water, then tomato puree from concentrate, garlic puree, lemongrass, and then there's like rapeseed oil, there's red curry paste, um, dried chili, salt, ginger garlic, and all the different spices. Um, so I'm really impressed. And it's 200 grams, 88 calories per 100 grams. So um, I'm really impressed with that. And it is a really, really good curry paste. The coconut milk, that's obviously going to be higher in fat. Um, this is 400 ml, this tin. I'm using the whole tin. Um, per 100 ml, it's 100 and 31 calories it's quite a lot in there but we're spreading it out three of us eating it and there'll be leftovers for tomorrow as well so i've got all the white stuff from the top the water from the coconut milk i will add afterwards i'm going to stir that together the coconut milk and the curry paste and i'm going to add the corn and just put it on lightly and in the meantime i'm going to chop up my garlic i've got two big cloves of fresh garlic i've got ginger and I'm going to chop up a whole sweet potato. So that's two very large cloves of garlic chopped and this is all my fresh ginger. I've probably taken off a good couple of centimeters and finally chopped that. That's all going in. I'm gonna give that a really good mix and then I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna keep the skin on the sweet potato, just top and tail it slightly and cut it into small cubes. I kind of want it to dissolve into the sauce. I don't want great big chunks. But what I do find is it gives it a really good richness, the sauce, but it adds a nice sweetness as well. So that's mixing in lovely, going really well. I've added the rest of the coconut water 
to here. I've only ended up using half of that sweet potato and as you can see it's not in huge chunks. The whole of the bag of corn has gone in. I've got a nice sauce going on now and I'm going to add a few lentils. So these are the lentils I'm using. They're also from Lidl, red split lentils and I'm just going to add a sprinkle. I don't usually measure them out, I just sprinkle them in, but I wanted to see roughly how much I add so I could share it with you, and it was a third of a cup. Again, you don't have to add them, it's just I really like them, and they kind of cook down in the slow cooker to nothing, so if you're not a big fan of lentils, it could be a really good way to try them. Don't add too many, pop them in a slow cooker, it just adds a really good texture. It almost gives it a little bit of a nutty flavour as well. I'm now going to cut up this celery into very small chunks. I've got the remainder of a green pepper in the fridge which I'm going to use and I'm going to half the green beans. You can however use any veg that you want using up. If you've got carrots, if you've got cauliflower, broccoli, anything, throw it in. It's my favourite way to use up veg. So that's the curry bubbling away. It's got a lovely amount of gravy which I'm happy with, and the veg is all in there. The celery, the green beans, sweet potatoes, and the peppers. I think the, the greenery there gives it a lovely color. Now, it's really important when you're cooking anything to try it. So I popped in a teaspoon, and it's really, really delicious, but I always feel when I'm making a curry, it needs mango chutney, and I buy this from Lidl as well, and just add it to taste. Start off with a little bit and see how you go. I will probably add a couple of really big teaspoons to it. I do also use Thai Seven Spice, which I don't buy in um, Lidl, I've never seen it there. I do buy that in Waitrose, and I add that to flavor, to um, taste as well. So if it needs just a little bit of something extra, it adds a nice bit of spice, but it also kind of deepens the flavor as well. But let it cook, especially if you're using chicken or any other meat, let it cook out first before you start adding too much flavor. That's the thing I find when I'm doing any kind of slow cooker cooking, the flavor kind of matures and intensifies the longer it cooks. And obviously be careful if you're using raw meats, don't go testing it until they're properly cooked through, otherwise you'll give yourself a nasty belly ache. Now that to me tastes spot on. I'm gonna leave it, pop it on the slow cooker stand for a couple of hours and then check it. I will also be adding um, a good couple of handfuls of kale, if not more, towards the end. I'm not going to add it quite yet because it really doesn't need long to cook. Dinner's ready, the curry smells amazing, it's so good. I haven't added anything else to it, I didn't even season it. Everything that I did in the video is exactly here and I've just added some rice which is also from Lidl. But I really recommend this and like I said, if you don't want the vegan version, you can just do chicken or whatever meat you fancy. But this has been in the slow cooker for two hours. Maybe it was two and a half hours actually. But obviously if you're doing meat, it will need to be in there longer. Just make sure it's cooked properly. But this is our dinner tonight and I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Let me know if you've enjoyed it by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe please if you are new. And let me know if you love curry too. It's my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.